Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Pregaton. Let's leave Renetti and friends behind and continue exploring the island. There's another ruined tower to plunder. This fragment of a fallen keep stands like a monument to ruin and a beacon for plunder. A narrow wooden tower rises high above you. Above the door at its base hangs a carved and painted mural of Amira and Ngati engaged in fierce battle. The tower lifts heavily to the side, just a few feet from tumbling over entirely. Search the location. You take some time to search the tower. I find a bundle of crafting ingredients. Keep searching this location. You continue exploring the tower ruins. I find a small chest full of coins. Keep searching. You continue exploring. I find a few useful tools amongst the rubble. Keep searching. You continue exploring. I find a cache of powerful scrolls. Keep searching. You continue exploring. I find a bundle of crafting ingredients. You've searched every inch of the tower. There's nothing left for you to take. That's okay, it's a pretty good haul regardless. Onward to the Blighted Bog. Oh, interesting. When I select it, it tries to take me all the way back around the island. Good. I was afraid it just wouldn't let me access it from this side. Fetid, sweltering air cradles you as you push your way through the thick growth. Your clothing sticks to your skin, and sweat drips from your brow and chin. You hear movement ahead of you, accompanied by something that sounds like conversation. So we'll probably fail to sneak since no one in my party is specked into it, but we'll try. I'll sneak closer to observe. A large boggy clearing spreads before you, mist clinging to the water and soggy ground alike. A massive lurker rests in the water, utterly still, as the Manpugra and Delimgin speak in low, susurrous tones. The Manpugra and Delimgin fall silent at, as you appear, and the former waves the latter back as she makes her way to you. The Reek of Decay precedes her, as she peers at you with black eyes. We would kill you for your trespass, consume your essence and add it to our own. Do you find us otherwise engaged? Leave this place while you can. Our lips twist about a mouth filled with teeth of gnarled wood. What's going on here? It has issues from her knotted mouth. That is none of your concern, Kith. When I'm done burning this place, there won't even be cinders left. Well, watch her only check. No sense in trying that since I can't use Palagina. Alright, let's scatter them with magic. I can't use Aloth either. Oh, maybe because he doesn't have any fire spells. Well, this is a cold spell. Yeah, we'll lob a fireball. You chant quietly, gathering essence before hurling a blast of mystic power into the clearing. Debris falls around you, but the Mampugra and her cohort remains. The creatures glare and hiss at you as one. The floor around you bursts into movement, advancing. Oblige. 
Alright, that Delam game shouldn't last much longer. Throw a dare at the Mampugra. Actually, I'm gonna throw him at the Dank Spore instead. That's not very helpful. Hey, who are you? I'm gonna throw that out. And another chill fog. I don't wanna hit a dare with it. So back. Over here. All my worms down. Oh, that's not very helpful. Oh, <laughs> this is most unpleasant. Ten. More fire damage. Ah, oh, Yeah. My Palagina, get your worms back out. Jody's standing inside the bog lurker, so it's hard to click on her when I'm not using her portrait. Uh, that was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Thank you. I. I have been poisoned. And good riddance. On it. 
Right, so we needed Awakened Wood, I think, for one of Palagina's upgrades. Or was it one of the potential upgrades? Yeah, spinning assault. So I don't actually need it. Oh? Indeed. I'm a little disappointed none of them dropped anything unique. Well, I guess it could be up here. Because all of the enemies came from that direction. So the game indicated they were up to something. I wonder if the Intimidate check... ...would have given us more insight. Less than the truly insane. You smell them before you see them. All good faith corpses litter the area. Some are burned beyond recognition, while others have been crushed so badly that little more than a greasy smear on the ground. Search the area. As you expect the grizzly scene, you catch a glimpse of a large group of Lagu faith lying in wait, and all of them have their blow darts trained on you. They fire a volley of darts before you have a chance to react. Then you dodge the projectiles. One dart hit Jody square in the neck. The Long of Faith let out an ululating cry and charged toward you. Booster might take theirs away. That's not very helpful. She pop this instead. <laughs> That was very easy. Indeed.
Ruins of Amira's Roost. Several Log of Faith corpses lie strewn across the entrance to the ruins in broken, boneless heaps. The blood dashed on the ground is bright red, still fresh. It must have died recently. Enter the ruin. Will do. These vines form the vanguard of the jungle's effort to reclaim this temple. Could be a fight. Death take you. Let's go. Try something else. All right, let's need the carnage. Death, take. Take that. Oh, if you insist. You're here to take the Book of Storms from me. I know it. Okay. The woman's hair is a mess. Her clothes ragged. Her face is haggard with exhaustion. You can't have it. It's mine. Mine! She glares at you with narrowed, untrusting eyes and gritted teeth. So I think no matter what we say here, she's going to attack us since she's already hostile. The Book of Storms is a myth. Only a fool would seek it out. Archimir didn't believe it was real either. He told me I was mad. But I have proof. I'll show him. I won't let you steal it from me. It's mine. I found it. She turns to her minions and gestures wildly at you. Kill the intruders! Yeah, good luck. A void Seer. Some worms out here, and so we're kind of trapped right here. I'm going to throw out a defensive buff instead. That is crush damage. We'll use that against the ironclad construct. Protect me. That's not very helpful. At least their caster is down. Uh, what does the Void Seer do? That doesn't matter. They're also casters, because that's the Ad the Ad Dragon's gaze. Adragon. What now?
I cannot whack well, him any harder. Have trouble moving through this. Oh. Drop this. There's all of it. Missed. Ah. What now? That looks complicated. I right, could get him, guys. I found. Not exactly my area of expertise. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I need something stronger. There's something I can do. these on the construct I need to try something else. that sweet crush damage We can throw this out. That's gonna hit everybody though. It's not worth it. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Yes, I shall deal with this one. What can I do you for? Love root be on sink. Yeah. All right. Awesome. The water dripping down from above tastes like cold stone and moss. We got Harmony. Commitment plus one resolve grants commitment. Grants additional resolve while near a bonded ally. And lovers bond. You and an ally you choose to bond with become immune to intellect afflictions until the end of combat. This modest wooden ring was crafted with great care and detail. The inner surface is engraved with the symbol of two mountains joined by a diamond pattern with the words, Our stars aligned, burn into the wood. The ring is tinged with a. F oh, sorry, I got distracted. I thought maybe it was um something I could talk to. Uh, the ring is tinged with a faint echo of lingering soul essence. Memories of affection and devotion swirl about it, and the wood practically vibrates with a giddy sense of anticipation. Someone who once held this ring was captiva captivated by an unanswered question. When they got their answer, they're content to leave their cares behind. For they remain to this day.
I guess I don't really need Gaunt's Pledge, do I? What can I do you for? Uh-huh. The way the female goes backed up, I thought she was going to punch the other mm -hmm. guy. Alright, Leofwin's Grimoire and a Book of Storms. So it actually looks like a main character can cast all the spells in this book. Except for Exposed Vulnerabilities and Merciless Gaze. And Kalakoth Sunless Grasp. <laughs> I was close. Alright, I'm content with what he currently has. And then Book of Storms. It does have a variety of damage. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with this one. For now. Mm -hmm. I've got it. Alright, and Amira's wing. It's a rod. Superb. Helian Squall. Brings forth a rush of gusting wind, dealing crush damage, pushing enemies back, and reducing their stride. And wind calling. This gives us wilting wind. A parching wind blows across the battlefield, inflicting raw damage on anyone in the area and leaving them weakened. And Winter Wind. It causes an icy wind of incredible power to arise, pushing back all in the area of effect and inflicting freeze damage. This rod is warm to the touch and rests more lightly in your hand than the most delicate goose down. You hold it to your ear during sunrise on the first day of Enprima. We hear the faint, tremulous wail of loons over the sound of wind whistling through treetops. I just realized he's using a one-handed weapon. So we give him that. He loses some accuracy, but I think that's fine. I do want to compare this to what Takehu has equipped. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. I am ready. How often can I use this? Only once per rest. Ah, uh, at once.
And Lover's Cove is fine. Is this where we found Harmony yet? Real quick while I'm thinking about... Oh. Once we get to this ship, while I'm thinking about it, I give my companions some equipment. Yeah, so Water Shaper's focus just gives him that bounce effect. Okay, the upgrade is definitely worth keeping. And that's pretty good too. 5% chance to cast crush damage, water, AoE on target, scoring hit. And I assume that it also works with the leaping arc effect. Well, actually, the just the throw damage is probably better. This is a guaranteed second effect on crit, and then just plus 10% damage is corrode. Oh, and then Seraphin, I wanted to give this pistol. Looks pretty cool too. I like that blue color on it. Well, that's a storm. I need to fly through that. I do want to map out all this fog of war around Fort Deadlight. Grab this. Okay. And also before I forget, we will put on... Principe colors to be safe. And in the next one, we'll finally make it to Fort Deadlight. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.